a warm welcome to the second film in our Roof Coverings series. In it, we discuss the materials commonly used for the outer layer of a roof covering. Pitched roof coverings always operate on the diversion principle. They're made of a series of small components that overlap from top to bottom like the scales of a fish. Non-overlapping joints must be covered to ensure that water running down a roof surface does not flow into the structure itself. In contrast to roof waterproofing, however, the covering of a roof is not watertight. Strong rain and wind can therefore drive small amounts of water behind the covering from where it must be carried away in a controlled manner. One significant difference between different types of roof coverings, in addition to the material of which they are made, is the manner in which they are fixed to the roof structure. A roof covering must be protected against wind uplift. This can be done by the weight of the covering itself, as in the case of roofing tiles, or by some means of mechanical fixing, as in the case of metal roofing sheets. Despite these measures, roofs can be ripped off by violent storms, as you can see in the photograph here. In the past, roofing tiles were made exclusively from fired clay. There are many different types of tiles. Here you can see three very common ones. The roof on the left is covered with beaver tail tiles. The tiles in the middle drawing are referred to as hollow interlocking roof tiles. Unlike beaver tail tiles, their butt joints run in a line. On the right, you can see what's known as monk and nun tiling, in which the lower tiles form a gutter and are called nuns, while the upper tiles are called monks. Monk and nun tiling is a very old style of roofing. It's still known as colonial tiling in South America because it was brought over by the Spanish conquistadors. The tiles were once made by shaping a lump of clay over a human thigh, which gave them the characteristic conical taper required to allow identical tiles to overlap one another. Today, tiles are made of clay or concrete. On the left here, you can see the most common type of concrete tile used in Germany. It's known as a Frankfurter Fanner or Frankfurt Pan tile. On the right is an interlocking clay tile with the characteristic rebated profile that enables the tiles to overlap. Roofs can also be covered with metal sheeting. These are now generally made of zinc or aluminium. Copper roof coverings have become increasingly rare due to the high cost of the raw material. The sheets are joined by bending the edges of two adjacent sheets upward to protect against water ingress. This is called standing steam roofing. You can see an example in the photograph here. Alternatively, the sheet joints can be connected by wooden strips in a technique known as batten cap roofing. Sheet metal can also be made into panels and used as a roof covering. These panels are often prefabricated with integrated insulation. They are also laid so that they overlap. Fibre cement, that is fibre reinforced cement, can be used to produce thin, stable roofing panels and flat and corrugated sheets that are widely used as a roofing material. The corrugated sheets on the left here are sold under the trade name Belly Novella. Like roofing tiles, they're laid on battens. The smaller format sheets on the right here are fixed to the roof sheathing. These small fibre cement sheets are modelled on historical roof slates. The process of splitting slate slabs to make slate tiles is a time-consuming and costly business and natural slate roofs are now something of a rarity. Thatched roofs are covered with bundles of reeds placed so tightly together that the usually inconvenient adhesion and cohesion forces that act on water droplets can be used to carry water within the reed layer and down to the eaves. As you can see here, there's no way of fixing gutters to thatched roofs. Summary All roofing materials and techniques operate on the diversion principle and overlap from top to bottom, like the scales of a fish. Unlike roof waterproofing, roof coverings are not watertight. Traditionally, pitched roofs were covered with fired clay tiles. Today, concrete tiles, metal sheeting and fibre cement panels are also used to cover roofs. Please take a look at the third film in our Roof Coverings series. In it, we examine the factors that determine the various layers that go to make up a roof structure.